My name is Sam Touchstone, and for my Nats 101 class, I chose a category of environment to do my project on. Specifically, I chose the evolution of agriculture. I chose the evolution of agriculture because it envelops the aspect of the environment as well as capturing the essence of the class, which is the evolution of the universe and the world. And in my presentation, I will discuss such topics as the beginnings of agriculture, tools of the trade, 21st century farming, what and where crops are grown around the world, and the impact that the evolution of agriculture has had on the world today. As seen here are some of the first tools found that resemble agricultural tools. But the first believed use of planned agriculture was discovered not from finding tools, but rather finding dog and pig bones in ancient China. What scientists from the University of California and Lanzhou University in China found was an unusual amount of millet in their bones. Now this was peculiar because millet would not be common for pigs or wild dogs to be eating by themselves, which led researchers to believe that someone was growing the millet and feeding it to the animals to bulk them up. And if this amount was found in the animals, it must be assumed that the masters were eating the planted and grown crops as well. The early used tools were nothing more than small stone sickles or molded iron objects. First discovered in China was a small V-shaped iron plow. This plow was the first known technological development in the way of agricultural tools. This plow, unlike more recent installments, had no real indication that it was animal or vehicle drawn, but instead handheld. The image previously shown was an animal drawn plow like the ones invented and used by the Romans. The ones invented by the Romans were still relatively the same design as the ones used late into the 19th centuries. Nowadays, all plows are drawn by tractors, as well as various other tools such as seed drills and fertilizer sprayers. Twenty-first century farmers must be jacks of all trades. Because of the vast technological development since the 19th centuries, farmers must be able to capitalize on new and improved methods, tools, and bioware. One such improved method is the planting technique known as crop rotation or, or crop sequencing. This method of planting is vital for farmers because it keeps their soil from becoming void of nutrients and minerals, as well as keeping it firm and in place instead of blowing away, and it keeps the majority of the pests away. This technique requires a farmer to plant his crops in a rotation of four different fields, alternating the crop planted in the field every so often. For example, if the farmer is growing corn, cotton, wheat, and potatoes, he must interchange where each one of these crops are, maybe at the end of each year. By doing this, he is alternating the deep-rooted plants and shallow-rooted plants in and out of the soil, as well as keeping pests away that would normally feed on one type of crop. Because the crop isn't growing there for so long, the pests don't have as much time to grow into the area. As well as using the technolog technologically advanced equipment and improved planting methods, the farmers must take ethics into concern when growing crops. One such concern is using bioware that can be harmful to the environment. One such problem was the creation and use of DDT. DDT is a very potent pest killer and proved to be very effective at breeding an area of pests. But what was happening was it was killing more than the pests. The DDT would run off into nearby water supplies and kill fish and other, organi other organisms in the area. It would also infect nearby soils, rendering them void of nutrients and unable to grow plants again. Because of this, the U.S. government made DDT illegal in 1972, however many farmers continue to use it out of its effectiveness. This example shows how farmers don't need to only be efficient at growing their crops, but they need to be good decision makers and reflect on the ethics involved in a certain situation.
Agriculture has had a long, arduous journey, from stone tools to million dollar machines. This journey was an extremely important one. With the organization and efficiency reached by farmers today, the amount of food being produced to feed millions, improve economic situations, and provide more means of technological research is astounding. The evolution of agriculture has changed our world drastically. Without the improvements made in the gathering of resources, the world today would be a much different place. 